Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Let me first show you that I have downloaded all the required files from 2017 till 2021. So these are three quarter files and this is the annual file of 2017. If you check out 2018, three quarter files and one annual file. Then in 2019 also uh, we have three quarter reports and one annual report. In 2020 also we have three quarterly reports and one annual report. In 2021 we have only the quarter files. What we have? We have only quarter files. Annual file is not available on the day when I am preparing this financial model. I will be using this these quarter files and annual files in the next video onward. Let us first prepare a basic outlay or basic layout of the financial model. So I'll come to the sheet one and I'm renaming it as quarterly income statement. Okay. So this is going to be the sheet which will have all the quarterly data and we will start the data from uh, March 2017 because that is the first quarter. So let me type the current date and I'll change it to 2017. And this is going to be 31st of March, right? Uh, I will put it in row number 3. Now equal to use a function called end of month. Okay. There are two parameters in this start date and months. So this is my start date and comma. I'll put three here, three months. So what EO month will do? EO month will add three months to this previous cell and it will give you the end date of that month. So what we have here 31st of March and now EO month will add three months to it. So it will be 30th June enter. So what we are getting here, we are getting number. So if you check out my Excel videos, you know that numbers and date are actually same thing. It is only the format which is available in Excel. So what I can do, I can copy this, go to the cell. Alt E S and I can paste the format. Okay. Now double click on this column divider. Now see we have 30th June. Now what you can do select this and press Ctrl R. Resize the columns. So till when I have to forecast it, I have to forecast it for five years. So I have to go till December 2025. So let's drag it more. Again, I have to resize the columns. So December 2025. See, so these I can delete. Now come back here. Simply select this. Press Control 1 and come to custom. What I want, I do not want to display day. I want to display only month. So select this panel and type triple M here. Okay. Dash and type year. Okay. See if you type two Y, then it will display only two symbols. If you type three Y or four Y, then it will display all the four digits of year. Now, okay. Look at this. This is the format which I will be using in my model. Now from 2017 till September 2021 till this particular part. What do I want? I want to display this as actual data. So control one again and keep your cursor here and type A under inverted commas. And you can keep one space in between like this. Okay, now check it out. So this is uh, like this one, September 2021. This data is not available on the day when I'm preparing this financial model. So this will be forecasted. So let me reduce the, let me remove the space between this. It does not look good. So, okay. Now click here, control shift right arrow key, select it till end, control one. And here what I want, I want to type E, E for estimated, 
forecasted okay enter now here what i'll do put in equal type year and bring year from this so 2017 will come here this particular part we will be using very lately when we will actually consolidate quarterly data and bring and make annual data out of it okay now simply select this till now control r okay now one more thing i will do select this part go to home tab and make it a colored like this and interior color is uh, dark blue and text color will be white formatting plays a very important role when you make the financial model sometime it happens that model is perfectly prepared it is accurate all the outputs are coming correctly but it is not readable it does not look good so format of the model is also equally important now what i will do this historical data i will be, i will be putting into excel and then uh, we will be forecasting it okay so first now we will uh, bring the quarterly data of income statement into this quarterly income statement sheet and then we will see what we have to do into it so now don't just watch the video replicate do the same thing in your excel file also along with each video so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching